guys, what's up? My name's Deja. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, hey, thanks for stopping by. It's that time. It's that time of the month. Y'all already know what's happening. It's that time. Time for some bomb music that left me scalped in the month of March. So, without further ado, let's get into the beats of March. But before we get on down to today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, guys. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all of my social media, that'll all be in the description below. All right, let's get down to some of the best music of this month. So the first album slash EP to have me scalped from my forehead to the nape of my neck was Hope World by my hope, hopefully your hope, my baby, J-Hope Now the whole entire rap line have EPs now slash albums and I am content with my life. I am so freaking happy and proud of J-Hope. Hope World is such a great display of his incredible talent and I think that he did a really really good job. And on top of that, like can we talk about the airplane music video? really really excited to see where J-Hope goes from here. I know that he's still in BTS but if he were to go off and have a solo career I think he'd be pretty freaking awesome at it. So yeah, Hope World by J-Hope is definitely at the top of my list. Eyes on You by GOT7. Oh my god, I... Oh! Listen. Oh lord Jesus, help me. Some of my favorite songs on Eyes on You are the reason. Obviously look and the song they did with Hylon, I think it's her name. I think it's like the one and only. I don't know what it's called. But, ooh, Luck is like number one on my list. And the music video, I need to watch that at least once a day to like function, especially the Adidas version. <laughs> Eyes on You by GOT7 plus the music video was so freaking good and I am like ecstatic to see where they go from here. Ooh, I love GOT7. Jesus. Now we're gonna go back into Western culture music. And the next um, song to actually come out that really caught my eye was Delicate by Taylor Swift. And I know it didn't come out this month, but technically the music video came out and I know her album's been out for a while. When she released Delicate as a single, I was like, hmm, that sounds like a cute song. So I listened to it and I saw the video and it's a really, really pretty song. I have to give her that. I haven't heard Reputation in its entirety. I've only heard like, Look What You Made Me Do and Delicate. But I think Delicate is a really pretty song. And the song Delicate basically is talking about um, falling in love with somebody and being afraid of them not loving you for you because of your reputation and like how the world perceives you but like when they do love you for you it just it's like a really awesome thing so Delicate by Taylor Swift is definitely one of my favorite songs of the month the next song to catch my eye this month is Nowhere Fast um, by Eminem and Kehlani and this was a collaboration that I really didn't see coming but I'm happy it did happen and I really really love the message behind Nowhere Fast um, Nowhere Fast is a song that Eminem wrote basically talking about all the horrible things happening in the world from Stoneman Douglas to Sandy Hook and all the school shootings that have plagued the United States for so many years. And he's basically talking about how Americans are so prideful in their guns and they care more about their guns than um, our children, which is 100% accurate. Don't even find me on that. And I actually commend him for, you know, stating the obvious and not being afraid to use his platform to call everybody out that supports this or doesn't see the problem with it. So yeah, Nowhere Fast by Eminem and Kehlani is definitely, definitely, definitely one of my favorite songs of the month as well. So this next band I wasn't expecting to see, you know, have any music out for a while, but Panic! at the Disco actually came out with two new songs, one called Say Amen and one called Silver Lining. I think Say Amen is my favorite song um, out of the two. And the video is so cool. It, it reminds me of Kick-Ass. The music video to Say Amen also goes with the songs 
the Emperor's New Clothes and This Is Gospel. And I saw them all in chronological order, my mind exploded. But I really, really love Say Amen. It was such a cool, fun video, and Brendan, you did that. So Say Amen is another one of my favorite songs of the month of March. These last two I was not expecting to like so much, but these next two songs are Lost in Japan and In My Blood by Shawn Mendes. And I've, I've been familiar with Shawn Mendes for a while. I, I think he started on YouTube and I heard some songs like um, Stitches, I Know What You Did Last Summer with Camila Cabello. And other than that, I never really saw like the hype, but no offense to like his fan base. I don't know what I call y'all, but I just, I, he wasn't really my cup of tea until now. When I heard In My Blood, I just felt like I was peeking inside of his mind. It was very, it was a very beautiful, vulnerable song. And he has a great voice and he can really, really perform. So In My Blood is a really awesome song and congrats to Sean for all the success on it right now. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Those are all the artists that I am currently loving right now and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post a video. And if you wanna follow me on all my social media, they'll all be in the description below. And until I see you guys again next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.